I know you've touched on that in some of your books, but can you, I guess, just at a high level, share a little bit about how you think about the journey to mastery and kind of, I guess some first off is just kind of like, what does it take to get that ball rolling? And then what are some of those keys to unlocking? To make this really simple, what came before all of these was I grew up playing classical piano. I played classical piano for 20 years. I was playing Mozart and Chopin when I was 10. I've been doing stuff like this. So the first step that I've noticed is you have to learn the rules of the world, the game. So the first thing, and this is where a lot of people give up, they walk into a new world or a new industry or whatever, and they get overwhelmed by all the things that they don't know. And then they walk away. For me, I'm just a really curious person. I'm inspired by that. I'm like, the more I don't know, the more excited I am. So step one is you have to learn the rules of the game. The second step is then you have to start asking what is required of me to adopt some of the skills in order to then start making progress. Like in gaming, it's how do I climb levels? In bodybuilding, it's how do I lift more and more weight? So then you start adopting these exercises and that's where some daily habits come in and you start kind of creating your own routine for yourself. Then the third step is, okay, you are not enough on your own. You have to surround yourself with the people that are the version of you that you ultimately want to become. doesn't matter what it is. Entrepreneurs hang around entrepreneurs. Bodybuilders hang around bodybuilders. Gamers hang around gamers. Once you're surrounded by a couple of those people, you inherently soak up their styles. Like my favorite analogy for this is I'm a huge rap and hip hop head. Rappers in different camps all sound the same. Like if you're from Eminem's camp, like you pick up his styles. If you're from Lil Wayne's camp, you pick up his styles. And that happens everywhere. Like entrepreneurship, same thing. If you were an early employee at a certain company, you soaked up those styles. So choosing the environments where you can soak up styles that you're like, that's what I want to become crucial. And then once you've soaked up those styles, then you go through this fourth step of like, now I'm going to forget the things that I picked up from other people and I'm going to start creating my own style. And that's where you kind of graduate. 